Welcome Aqua to your reading. I'm Scorpio Moon, intuition bring messages from spirit. This reading is general and it may or may not resonate with you. Take what resonates and leave the rest. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can visit www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. This reading is for sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Cross watcher, if you're the ones watching this, then it may resonate with you. So let's begin. If you are wearing headphones, please lower the volume. I welcome in my spirit guides and all angels, nice and great as good. I welcome messages of love and light that bring healing and love to you all. Please bless this reading. Thank you. All right, Aqua, let's go ahead and take a look at what your monthly forecast looks like, right? So let's see. Spirit, please bring forth clear messages in regards to my lovely Aquas in the month of June. And who is the person that is connected to them in love? What is the energy or the vibration that wants to come through for Aqua and their love and trust? What can you tell me about the energy surrounding Aquas and love in the month of June? And the person's energy that they're connected to? Thank you. All right, so Aqua, I am saying that maybe, you know, this is kind of ironic because as you know, um, in the tarot, you are the star and, and the star in reverse is a person who has lost their aspirations. Uh, maybe you need to do the healing work. Uh, maybe you lost the inspiration um, for pursuing your dreams and, uh, you know, just something that you really desire. Okay, so maybe you lost hope in a situation. Um, right now, you're at a pause, okay? You're not really doing anything. Maybe it's because you have fear and um, you're not really guided to get out of a separation from a particular person. Um, but you're no longer stuck and I see that you're refocused um, possibly on a karmic situation. And right now you are not in union with your lover, okay? But you're in a state of surrender. You're releasing, um, I guess, uh, control uh, over the connection with you and your uh, love, love and trust, okay? And I see that you have decided that you're just going to stay stuck because you haven't learned the spiritual lesson. Oh my God. <laughs> Now, I can't remember if it was last, last week's reading where uh, I think I gave advice to Aquas that um, it would possibly be beneficial to release a karmic situation, okay? Uh, and the karmic could be a soulmate, take as it resonates, but um, I see that there's still something you have to learn, and it's about letting go of the third party, Okay, so the third party could be anything. It's someone that's outside of yourself, okay, that is interfering in your connection, um, maybe with your person. Now, the third party doesn't have to be an individual. It could be a way of being. It could be like, you know, something inanimate, right? It doesn't have to be a person. Um, and I see that you're letting go of the material sense, okay, possibly of being with this person physically. And this whole summer, okay, I really feel that Wow. I mean, there's a situation here with the family. I don't know. There's a lot that's going on with you, Aqua. Okay. First, your love life is not too great. Secondly, you're having issues with your family. Okay. So um, I'm not going to lie. It may be a little bit rocky for you in the month of June. You know, that's why you're feeling hopeless, like your dreams are, you know, it's hard for you to really focus on your dreams when everything in your reality is, is going to crap, right? At least that's what it feels like. Now, I see that you are being inspired um, in the 3D, okay, in the third dimension uh, about your self-worth. So the good thing is, is that while everything's going to shit, at least you got me, myself, and I. Okay, and I really feel like the focus for you this month is really yourself rather than 
a lover okay uh that's what i'm saying because i see that you're going through a cycle and maybe you've been numbing yourself uh from the situation and you no longer want to deceive that you have been grieving it's been hurtful okay um but doing the shadow work is a little difficult i see that you're resisting it um but it's because you don't know what else to do. So it's like a feeling of hopeless or helplessness, okay? You know, the situation <clears throat> isn't working out with the karmic or the third party, okay? You really have to focus on yourself, but you're finding it hard to really focus on you. You know, I get it. Um, you know, a lot of people have gone down that path. And um, there's something that you really can't see. And I see that you recognize that you need a compromise. You have to have balance. It can't be an all or nothing type situation. There has to be, you know, a level of balance. Okay. That's what I'm seeing. And I see that your twin flame. Okay. Um, I don't know. Maybe you can find a compromise with your twin, but I see here an offer and you're at a crossroads and there's something that you're not receiving. And so. Um, I really feel like you're just not, you don't know if you, you should go in a new direction. I mean, I really feel like you, you're not feeling it. But I see here that there is a soulmate and this soulmate is going to help you getting out of this victim consciousness. So I would say, you know, let go of the whole past situation. If you feel like you had a karmic partner, a soulmate who seems like, you know, um you had something going on there uh and i see that there is a true soulmate who's going to help you get out of this energy so maybe there's a past situation um you know that you were having a hard time letting go and now this, the karmic situation could be family you know maybe you're having a hard time with your family everyone's situation is going to be a little bit different but that's generally what i'm seeing here but there's going to be someone else who is going to get you through this rough patch so that's really good yeah this person wants you to come back okay but they don't know um if you're settling wow or so this person that comes back to you you possibly already know this person <sighs> you know they don't I, I, you know i guess maybe this is you right you meet somebody but you don't know if you can settle for this you know this is your soul tribe i would say be open to whoever comes to you okay and don't just so be so targeted on a particular group of people or a person or a situation because i see that there's somebody else that is better for you that's all i got i mean it's very clear so and some of my aquas probably don't want to hear that, you know. Now, whoever your person is, okay, they're starting to lose their patience, but I feel like they're learning to release and let go of putting up a mask, okay. Things are, are not, um, you know, going according to their plan. And I see that they have a lot of regret, okay, because they have a hard time of thinking that they destroyed this connection. They're asking you for their forgiveness. They want a brand new start, okay, and they're reflecting. So there is a person that is reflecting, okay. They're learning to release and let go. They know that things were not balanced, and I see that they had a hard time of, you know, uh, pursuing you, but they needed to heal, okay. They just didn't understand how to let go because they they really didn't feel um, like, you know, this relationship would work. And you know, I see your divine feminine energy and I see that they've come to a conclusion that you are their divine counterpart, okay? And they just were not devoted to you, but they they have a sense of nostalgia. So, you know, they are thinking that they're awakened now, okay? They just didn't see it before, but now they're going to be working on their higher self. Now, I, like I said, there's a karmic situation going on with you okay, who, th that you've been dealing with, but there is a soulmate that you already know, okay, that soulmate could be your twin, take as resonates, whoever, I mean, you know, don't get the labels twisted, you know, but I really feel like there's someone better for you that you've already known that is coming back, that's what it looks like, and this person, even though that they weren't the best at the time, I mean, maybe they're going to turn a new leaf, 
But, you know, I would say use your discernment to figure out who that person is, because I feel like there's more than one person here that is uh, going to be in your energy for this month. So let's go ahead and take a look at that energy between you and that particular person. Spirit, please reveal to me who is the person that is connected to Aquas in love. And Aqua, what is your energy towards this person? And what is the connection between the two of you? And Spirit, how do you guys currently think? How do you feel? What is it that you guys want? And what is the outcome? Please reveal to me the energies between Aqua and their love interest for the month of June. Thank you. Yeah, your person is walking away from a situation, and I see that it isn't over between the two of you. Um, you know, they just didn't feel like they were good enough. You know, they're in their head uh, that maybe they invest into another situation. Maybe you've known this person for five years, and that's for some. Okay, now this individual has a hard time of communicating to you. Like this is through text messaging or maybe even a simple phone call. Um, and I see that they're in their head. Okay, they're in their head a lot, and I see that they have made a decision, okay, to really do the healing work. So they just need a time out, okay? Um, also, they realize that they need to hold back from pursuing you or communicating because this person is all in their head. So there's a lot of mental thinking that I'm seeing, and also uh, what I'm getting is that um, things are, are not moving forward, Okay, uh, hold on. Can I pause this? All right, so I see that they have a hard time moving things forward. And um, also what I'm seeing is that um, they just need time to realize something. And they realize that they weren't so giving towards you. Okay, this person knows that maybe they took more than they gave. And that's for some. And uh, what I'm seeing is that, you know, maybe they were being manipulative. Maybe they really couldn't give you what you're looking for. And I see that now they want to give you something small. Now, it may not be what you have given them before in the past, but this person definitely wants to come back and at least give you something back in return. Okay. That is what they hope and wish for. That is their uh, desire. And they just still can't offer your relationship. Uh, I'm just not saying they need to really more like focus more on themselves from what I can see. And, you know, because it wasn't fair. So at least if this person comes back, they want to apologize. They want to give you some small token of, you know, uh, sympathy, apology, something like that. But if you're looking for a relationship, it's, it's not looking good. I wouldn't even entertain it. I would just accept their apology because at least they're coming in with their truth that, again, we have your king of earth in reverse. So this person doesn't have the time, the energy, focus, or resources to offer you that, you know? And um, they do want to give you something. They do, okay? However, they've been watching you. They're trying to figure out, and they're kind of in their head. Okay, because there's some sort of karmic situation that needs closure. So, I mean, it's going to be different for everyone, whatever that karmic situation ship is. And I see that they want to have a new beginning, but they're feeling insecure. And so I see that they make a choice to hold back from contacting you, okay, quickly. But they're just waiting for the right time. So, you know, try not to have expectations in the month of June. And I've been getting this. 
all day long for my air signs. So it must be a collective thing through um, through all the air elements. Um, but let's see. And it's not just air. I mean, generally speaking, it's really for everyone. Honestly, for June, uh, don't expect love like to be fabulous, okay? I, I say take the time to heal and really focus more on yourself. So I see that with your person, they've been dishonest. Maybe uh, they were focused on money and they didn't tell this to you. And I see that with you, you're very clear. You had some sort of epiphany, okay, that there was like two options, two decisions, okay? And your person uh, feels like they had to hold back from offering you like an apology or well, not really an apology, but offer them like, you know, a relationship per se because I saw that they wanted to give you like you know an apology but they can't give you a relationship which I say okay because if they're not in a vibration and giving a relationship I mean let them go <laughs> and I'm being a realist over here okay I'm just a messenger guys now I see that with you you know you're really conflicted maybe because there is more than one person in the mix you know, well, I would say disengage, disengage from the drama. Who cares if there's five people, 50 people, who cares how many people that got in the way between you and your person? If your person isn't ready to offer you love, I like, so be it. Okay. It's their loss. Okay. Now you could have had some sort of attachment. Maybe you love this person, but I'm going to tell you this, Aqua, you know, where were they? You know, are, are they confessing their undying love towards you? Or are you having to give them everything just to get a little nugget out of them in return? Is that what you want from a person, from, from a true love? No, you don't, right? And I see that we have Mercury and Aquarius, which is your element. Okay, so you're in your head about just leaving this situation behind, which I feel like is healthy. You know, because honestly, if you leave this person behind, there's going to be somebody else who could approach you. But you have free will to choose, you know, who you, you date or whoever you talk to, right? I mean, nothing is permanent, but it's really up to the individual, you know. It's your choice. It's your decision, you know, if you want to keep stuck on a past person for whatever reason. Or, you know, maybe there's a new person that comes through, you know just make an observation try not to make definite plans and i guess that's the bottom line that i'm seeing now for for what you guys want okay your person wants to apologize again with the page of water okay they want to apologize and i see that they're apologizing for giving you grief sadness for putting you in this position of you like being sad you know and not happy right and i see that you're holding yourself back you're not opening yourself up toward this energy so you know it's okay that this person comes through and offer you an apology but they are not feeling generally that they can offer you love and i'm just gonna have to give it to you straight okay now in the outcome look at this we have here four of fire that's four of wands in reverse and for you we have two of water venus and cancer you know maybe for some you're done with the cancerian energy now, I see that you're open for a relationship, but you are actually feeling like you need to just disengage. You know, your person feels like they, they're not ready for a relationship. So you don't force it, right? As much as we want something, if it's not meant to be, you know, hey, accept it and take it as a sign. Like, you know, maybe there's something better out there, you know, does it have to be with this particular person? You know, and I know that for some, you know, you guys are attached, but I'm going to tell you this, okay? I'm not getting twin flame off of this person. Okay, so if you're a you know a person that is coming to my channel and you're connected with me because of a, a twin flame, okay, I don't feel like this is that reading, but there was that soulmate. Okay, that I felt like was like more of your twin rather than this situation over here. This person, is, I don't know, I'm just not getting good vibes off of it. But there's somebody else that's better for you. But you, you, I think you know that person already. Okay, 
So I would just be open to who comes and goes into your energy in the month of June. Just just be open, okay? That's what I have. So let's see. Um, how does your person feel? How does your person feel? How does this person feel? How do they feel? I got one energy. It says, I don't know if I'm as strong as you think I am. Strong, exactly. This person is weak. And I, I, I mean, uh, maybe that's my Scorpio nature. And, you know, I'm not trying to like sugarcoat stuff, but this is what I'm saying. This is coming from your person energetically. And maybe they never had the heart to tell you that, you know, maybe you, you thought that they were a strong person, but they really aren't. You know, sometimes we put people up on pedestals and really, they don't really belong up there. You know, we just get lost in, in the romance or the nostalgia. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing. So, wow, that's a lot. Spare, what additional messages want to come through from this person? What additional messages want to come through? Apparently, they want to say stuff. I can't handle your words right now. Okay? That's why they don't know if they're strong. I want to be authentic. I'm no longer afraid. So, they were, like, being fake. They're being fake now. They want to, they want to clear their conscience, right? And finally, I feel safer in the silence. So, it's one thing that they're silent, but they want to talk to you. They want to be authentic. But... Um, I really see that they can't handle talking to you right now. So like I said, like June is just not like a romantic month. You know, hopefully in the coming weeks that we're going to get some different energies and see like if there's other prospects or if there's anything else or if there's any change in the situation. But right now for the whole month, generally speaking, um, I don't know. I just see that you have options, you know, and if this is the one that you were really like open towards for a while, um, it's really up to you, Aqua, you know, take it as it resonates, right? Now, guys, you know, if you want a personal reading, if you want me to dive deep into your situation with your person, you can definitely book a reading with me. Today's the final day to get a discount on personal readings. They're already marked down on my website at www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. So if you guys want to book, today is the day, okay? On um, tomorrow, they're full price. <laughs> Just saying. <sighs> And it's usually a week turnaround. So just because you book doesn't mean you get your reading right away. It, it's going to take about a week for me to get to your reading. Okay. On average. So Spirit, what is the, the guidance that Aqua needs to know at this time? What is the guidance? Dearest you, we have something exciting to share with you. You are a manifesting master, and you don't even know it. There always will be enough of everything that you need in your life. Money, opportunities, love, kindness. So whatever you're asking guidance about, have faith and be open to the many ways in which you will experience prosperity. Spirit, uh, spirit is a source of your supply. The universe is always reflecting back to you what you believe. So whenever you fall into insecurity, you will be shown an illusion as if your fear were real. But the truth is, is that the universe is abundant and you and always have been enough and a consistently Wait, enough. And abundance is your natural state. If you can imagine something consistently as truth, you can and will create it. You are so on the right path. Keep believing and then seeing happens. Wow. Loving you more and more every day. Sorry, guys. I was stuttering throughout the whole thing. But, you know, I think you get what Spirit is saying. Just... <sighs> 
Whatever you believe, you will receive. Okay, if you're feeling lack, you're going to be in lack. You have to really be uh, the master of your mind and not let your mind master you. I really hope that makes sense because Aqua, you're an air sign. So you have to really believe, you know, that what's good for you is coming towards you. Okay. And if good isn't coming towards you, um, then really see it for whatever it is and, and keep vibing for what is supposed to be resonant with you. Okay. Instead of you uh, wanting to control a certain narrative. That's what I have, guys. So keep manifesting, okay? You know, I don't know if you want to manifest this particular person back. I don't know. I would say manifest the person that you're supposed to receive. And you're going to get several different options. And then, and then choose from that, okay? Don't just, you know, tie yourself down to this past person. That's what I have. So I really hope that that was helpful. Let me know. Thank you all for watching. And if you'd like to book a reading with me, again, uh, visit www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. You can also follow me on IG at Scorpio Moon Intuition. I hope you all have a lovely day and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.